if you want to check out this campaign and you know support me and check out the game this is kind of what everything is to to kind of give a brief overview for people to make it easier to understand if you want the most streamlined things to be paying attention to as a new player you start up the game you do the basic tutorials you go here so you go you click on the chest you get your free here you get your free silver you go over here you go to promo code you put in fire starter here Get another free hero. You get your daily stuff with the, the login rewards and the Artac chase. Check progression rewards whenever it, it's lit up. Every five levels you can check. Besides that, you don't have too much else you have to worry about here. And then check missions, quests, and challenges all for if you need some direction or if you just want to redeem what stuff you have gotten by just playing the game normally. Ultimately, there's you can play the game however the hell you want, but I find that the missions is a good way to give some direction if you wanted to find something to do. And then every day you also get these playtime rewards as you go, as you play for longer each day up to three hours those are really the main things you you should be checking regularly besides that it just depends on what you're doing if you have shards go to the portal most of the time you're going to be in one of these menus either clearing out campaign missions or getting resources from some of the dungeons and whatnot so Once you get through the tutorials, it's going to look something like this. I'm just going to kind of run through all of the different things that there are to see here. UI elements and stuff that you can interact with. So let's start with the easy stuff. <clears throat> Up here, energy count. Um, especially if you're early on, this is going to be some astronomically high number out over something. This is like your normal maximum, but anything that refills energy fills it above that. So you're going to have a ton. This is silver used for tons of things. Um, usually in large amounts, um, mostly free currency. Here are the gems, the more kind of, ex uh, the more premium type currency used mostly for stuff in the shops, but there's a couple other, a couple other areas that use it. Uh, these are used for attempts in the arena, um, which is kind of the PvP-ish mode, although there, there's the, the classic arena is not PvP necessarily, but I'll get to that a bit later. Um... Over here, of course, you've got uh, you. You got your level up here, your current XP progress. Power, which I actually am not sure what this is. Yeah, not 100% not sure what power is, but there's that. If you've got um, XP boost, they'll be shown here. All again, if you're new to the game, you there's a bunch of these you can get access to. Um, I have almost two weeks worth. This was for Forge Pass. I'm not level 40, so I can't even look at that yet. Um, if we go, if you go into your profile, this is where you get a couple of basic um, achievements, I believe, if you change your avatar, as well as if you haven't done it yet, you can set your username here and that'll give you an achievement as well. Settings, um, a couple of nice things to be able to have the options for here. So when you first use my promo link or any other promo links, the first bits of what you can redeem will be up here in the inbox. And this is where you'll find, in my case, you're gonna get uh, Grumbler Epic Hero. You're gonna get, I believe, 100K silver. So this is where you come to redeem pretty much anything. Some stuff that you get in the shop will come here. Some stuff you get from certain quests will come here. Basically, if there's, if there's a little red icon here, you got, some, you got some free stuff to pick up. This one in the top right here is chat. You can either do clan chat if you have that unlocked and are in a clan or just kind of global chat. Anyway, that's that's where the chat is. Here, there's a referral program. If you don't have a sponsorship and you want more kind of in-game rewards, you can refer other players. And as I believe both of you play, you'll both kind of get increasing rewards as you go along. Some pretty nice stuff, actually. These sacred shards are very valuable. That can bring us to over here, actually. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So here we have daily login. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. So kind of as you go through here, as you can see, 30 days, get an epic hero. Looks like a pretty nice one, actually. Um, but as you go along, you get tons of tons of rewards just for logging in and checking every single day. 500 energy, tons of silver, four stars. Yeah, okay. But later on, you do get you get all sorts of free stuff if you're if you're looking to play in the long haul. Over here, our attack chase. This is the thing that that I kept seeing in the chat. If you're playing, if you can play seven days before August 1st, you have plenty of time to do this. You get pieces of life steal set of artifacts and at the very end you get a legendary i don't have any legendaries yet so they are pretty pretty valuable another basically daily login these these both are very simple to check and uh get rewards from 
Same here, as you reach increments of level 5, um, you get different rewards. Very simple to check if you have something here that'll be lit up. Most things in this tab are basically you check them once a day. Plarium points, some there's a bunch of different ways to get small amounts of Plarium points. You can get them daily from the time-based stuff. A lot of the in-app purchases will have some amount of Plarium points. The rewards here are pretty far off, but you know, it's another another small incremental way to get some get some progress as you go. Here we have promo codes. If you're just starting, you're gonna want to use the code um, Firestarter here to get um, a very strong epic hero. Um, he's very good, very strong, especially for just clearing out kind of the early game stuff. Um, you can only do one promo code a day. There's quite a few other promo codes you can use once you do Firestarter. Basically once a day, um, you get some, some additional stuff depending on what promo code you activate. Um, next up, news. Um, if you want to see kind of some new stuff going on, you can check here. Mark all is red button, very appreciated, because once you've, you know, if you're just starting out new, you're probably not necessarily going to read through all this stuff, so. Um, can ignore that. I think he was in guides. An absolute ton of information about the game you can find here. You know, if you really want to start digging deep into this game and just kind of read through a lot of documentation, you can check there. Otherwise, nothing too crucial. Call the Arbiter. Um, basically, as it is right now, if you click Code Chase up here. For each of these two episodes, you can see episode one, the password is Choice. Episode two, it's Arbiter, so you get some rewards by doing those. And of course, there's going to be a bunch more of these as, as time goes on. Oh, and also by going into each of the each of the episodes, if you click share and then copy link, um, you can then also get uh, some more free stuff from each of these episodes. So you can do that every time there's a new episode drop. You can you can go ahead and do that. It even says when the next episode is. So this one you don't have to worry too much about until you actually get new stuff. All right, so here of course we've got the shop. If you're looking for long-term value, daily gem pack is a good way to do it. Um, the rewards are spread out over a month, but you get uh, by far the best money's worth out of out of uh, the money that you put in for this. Besides that, most of the ones in this tab are pretty good. If you're brand new, the starter pack is very good. It's like twice as good as it is for me right now. Um, but you have to do it, I think, within like four to six hours of making your account or of, of signing on for the first time. Um, all the packs are varying degrees of good. Most of these are pretty good. Most of these are pretty good. I don't know all of the best stuff. I I just picked up a couple that looked decent, but uh, I'm sure people have written guides and stuff about which bundles are the best ones, so um, I'm not going to go too much more into that. Next up, missions. This is my personal favorite way to kind of guide your progression through the game. If you're feeling a bit lost and not sure what to do, I highly recommend you check out missions, even right from the very beginning. This could be a great way. I can't show the ones that I've already completed. But basically, this will guide you through every every aspect of the game. Um, you know, all the campaigns, the campaign stuff, the dungeons, arena, um, uh, all of those different facets. Equipping artifacts, leveling them up. Um, this is a this is all encompassing basically for every everything in the game, um, and it's a very good way to kind of give you some direction. There could be, there's a lot to do in this game, so this is the best way to give you. A very concrete idea of what goal you can be working towards next you know so like you know for the next one here i've got to go to this stage in the sewers of arnok and try and, and basically just grind it until i get a certain drop so you know that gives me something something to work towards and as you can see there's an absolute ton of these <laughs> so quests you got your daily weekly and monthly quests you got advanced that i can't look at yet especially the dailies you'll kind of get just by playing the game um, I mean, you can see summon champions, use energy, increase levels, like, you know, most of these you'll just get from playing. Obviously, these ones are pretty tough to, to complete, so, uh, but if you can, you, you get, you get pretty good rewards for that. Challenges, these are basically quests that don't, that don't reset, they don't roll over anything. Um, they're kind of differently themed. This is another way to give you some decent direction over, you know, kind of individual aspects. You know, if you want to just focus on dungeons, then you can just focus in and do kind of the quests here. Um, the rewards are pretty good. Most of them don't take too long. The individual ones and even these full pages um, are relatively quick, at least the ones that I've seen so far. Forge Pass, I don't, like I said earlier, I don't have unlocked yet, so that's irrelevant to me. Clan stuff, there's a lot to look at here. Basically, the, the main thing I'm seeing is this. Do quests for the clan, it'll get you this currency. And then you can go to the shop and you can pick up some stuff here. But um, this is an aspect that I probably won't be spending too much time on. So next, index. 
This is basically like your champion catalog, where you can go through and take a look at all of the uh, all the champions you have summoned. Ultimate Gallic. This is the one that you get for the fire starter promo code. Reviews. Oh, that's interesting. Recommended artifact. Oh, this is pretty cool actually. And it looks like in each of the different dungeons as well. Wow. Okay. This is this is pretty interesting. Um. Next up, we have the Champions tab. This one has a lot. I'm not going to go into too much detail on all this. You got all your champions over here. This is where you equip your artifacts that you get from clearing campaign levels, mostly. You got your hero skills, masteries that I don't really have a good grasp on yet, but you use these scrolls that you get from doing, I think it's the Minotaur dungeon. So these give you small incremental boosts to, you know, different, different trees that you want to go down. And a bunch of stuff here that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go over too much because this is this is obviously where most of the complexity is and I'm mostly just kind of want to show people how to how to quickly get around the U, the general UIs. If we go here, this one is a little bit obscured by a webcam. Playtime rewards these reset every day. Basically, if you play up to three hours or at least have the game open for up to three hours, you get a handful of rewards. It's just some more free stuff. Basically, you can check this whenever it says to. It's a very, very quick to claim. This button here, this basically just takes you to uh, the limited, like, special offers section on the shop. This one, some limited time events. I haven't really taken a look at these yet, to be honest. I assume these these kind of events are kind of always rotating through to different stuff, so just, just some more ways to... This one, you get points by upgrading artifacts. Um, so you kind of have some different ways to make progress through some of these events. Last but not least here, we've got tournaments. Um, it seems like basically just playing the game kind of gets you this, these points. I forget what this one is, this currency is called. Kind of as you go, you get rewards over here. And it seems like first, second, and third get, uh, additional rewards on top of that. So this is just from playing, I think, any of the, any of the battle modes, more or less. That more or less covers all of the things I wanted to here. I'm not going to go over too much of the battle stuff because I think the tutorials do a good job enough of explaining this. And some of the other stuff I'm probably not, I'm probably just going to edit out to be honest because I, I think there's a lot of stuff that I don't know enough about that it's not, it's not even worth mentioning. Hopefully that was, that was helpful. I'll probably have to trim it down a lot to make it helpful, but yeah.